The overall goal of this procedure is to investigate gene expression profiles underlying numerous phenotypes or metabolic pathways. This is accomplished by first isolating mRNA from two contrasting nematode strains. The second step of the procedure is to synthesize cDNA containing either Psi3 or Psi5 capture sequences and hybridize them to a microarray. The third step of the procedure is to hybridize the microarray with anti-capture sequences containing Psi3 and Psi5 fluorophores. The final step of the procedure is to scan the microarray and analyze data using bioinformatic tools such as the Magic Tool software. Ultimately, candidate genes mediating the biological phenomenon under investigation are identified and can be validated and quantified by alternative techniques like real-time PCR. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because spotted oligonucleotides are not visible to the user, so it is difficult to overlay a homogeneous hybridization mixture onto the 23,000 plus uniquely printed oligonucleotides. Begin by collecting RNA from healthy synchronized nematodes. First, they are washed, resuspended in 15 milliliter tubes, and pelleted. Worm pellets are resuspended in 7 milliliters of 0.1 molar sodium chloride and 7 milliliters of ice cold 60% weight per volume sucrose. After a 15 minute incubation on ice, the worms are pelleted again. Now, bacteria free worms will swim up, are collected, washed in RNAs free water, and pelleted again. The clean, loosely compacted pellet is transferred to a microcentrifuge tube, 